All right, guys, welcome back to the next video on the channel. And today, what we're going to be talking about is sizable surprises in Pokemon Go. This event is going on from April 4th at 10 a.m. all the way to Tuesday, April 9th at 8 p.m. And the event bonuses are as follows. Two times XP for successfully catching Pokemon with a nice throw, great throw, or uh, excellent throw. Increased chance to encounter extra, extra small Pokemon or extra, extra large Pokemon in the wild. And also an incre increased chance to encounter a shiny Wilmer. If you don't have this Pokemon, obviously seeing a shiny Wilmer for your account is really good. Uh, the bonus will not stack with the catch XP bonus for the April Com Day Classic, which as we know is Bagon. Now, the wild encounters for this event are as follows. So, you'll see Diglett, Mantine, Wilmer, Joltik, Tymo, Cutefly, Wimpod, and Satoddle, with the rare spawns being Onyx and Snorlax. Now, any of the Pokemon there with an asterisk can be found shiny, and Wimpod can be found shiny for the first time. So, definitely keep an eye out for them as well. And then, in raids, we have some... Different Pokemon and some Pokemon I'm really, really excited to have back. So we do have in one star raids, we have Fungus, Clink, Esper, and Tadbulb. Three star raids, we have Alolan, Executor, a Galarian Weasling, Gyarados, and Snorlax. And then in five star raids, we have Celesteela in the Seven Heavens World, which is not worth going for if you are in the Northern, unless you need it for the decks. And then, personally, one of my favourite Pokemon in Pokemon Go, which is Kartana in the Northern Hemisphere. Now, this can be shiny. Um, not only that, it is probably one of the best, if not the best, non-mega, non-shadow, grass-type Pokemon in the game. So if you can, definitely get yourself six of these, as it is a very good Pokemon on the game. And then in Mega Raids, we do have Mega Charizard X, which is good for anyone looking to get their Mega Dexes up as well. Now, so during the event, there is going to be field research tasks around the event-themed Pokemon. This is Onix, Snorlax, Wilmer, Tymo, Cutify, and Wimpod. And same thing as the Wild Encounters above, anything with an asterisk can be found shiny. Um, looks like there is going to be another collection challenge, hopefully easier than the um, Cast Form one, which, like I said, I did 50 um, of the research tasks, didn't get a single Snow one. Um, just, just luck of the draw, really. Um, and hopefully this one will be easier and you will get raspberries, peanut berries, XP and encounters with Wimpod and Wilmer which is always good because we do need to try and get them shinies as they are basically the event that is going on and then there is going to be event themed Pokemon for Pokestop showcases now during this event there isn't really much Pokemon to take in for PvP so you do have Wimpod, which potentially could be good, depends if it gets a new move. Um, then you've got Mantine, which I have versed a few times in the Great League, and Onyx for Steelix as well. Um, in raids, you're looking at Gyarados being one of the best ones for PvP. Cartana, I don't know. I've never really seen it in um, PvP yet, but maybe you can get... a. Um, one that's low enough CP, you might be able to trade it to get it to lower. We don't know. Um, and other than that, that's the event covered. Now, other than the raids and the two shinies, I actually think this is going to be a good event. Um, obviously, you're going to get more extra, extra small Pokemon and extra, extra large Pokemon. And like I said, I have seen a few Mantines, so maybe getting the XL is going to be good for PvP. So definitely keep an eye out for them uh, huge Pokemon. Just to add to your party, just in case you do want to take it into PvP one day because it gets a new move or something like that, you are prepared for that. And Cartana is probably one of the best grass type Pokemon to take into raids, so definitely get a few of them if you can. And then if you do need anything for the decks in the raids, definitely use a pass on that. Like Celesteela, for example. If you have a remote raid pass, like I got one for my um, special, uh, not special research, the research tasks for the end of the week. That is a really good one to use it on because then at least you got it for the decks. So other than that, thank you all for watching the video. Please leave a like down below, comment if you are going to be doing this event and if you are looking to get more Cortana for your um, Pokedex. Same as Celesteela and going for the shiny Cortana as like I went really hard for this Pokemon the first time around so I have got quite a lot already but I do want that shiny so I will be going for that as well. And if you are new, please consider hitting that subscribe button and I'll speak to you all in the next one.